Okay, this is uh, part two of Feminism in Jane Eyre. I um, want to pick up off um, where we left off on the idea about um, patriar patriarchal structures being responsible for the marginalization of women um, and how do they do this. Um, well, first of all, feminist discourse wants to point out the way that that patriarchy works. It's a social system that's characterized by power, dominance, violence, hierarchy, wealth, and competition. Um, it's interesting, you know, to do a little litmus test on, on our culture today in the United States. Um, how, how much are these things valued? Um, things like power, wealth, um, climbing the corporate ladder, the hierarchy, that exists in um, the workplace often is, um, you know, a very competitive situation. All of these things are sort of uh, vestiges of this patriarchal power structure. Um, and it's interesting to deconstruct that. Why is it that things are set up that way, um, where um, wealth and, and power are esteemed more than other attributes that might be more maternal, um, such as uh, empathy, um, intuition, um, the ability to be compassionate, all of these things are sort of left behind in the patriarchal power structure. Um, feminists would also make the argument that the patriarchy has set up an arena where men can systematically control females and their sexuality. And why would they want to control female sexuality? Feminists make an economic argument saying that by controlling their genetic ties um, and, and making sure that the, their offspring are their direct heirs, then they can tr control the transfer of their power and their wealth through the generations. Um, you know, to be a little bit crude, like if, um, you know, a particular man of wealth and power, status and a community um, was worried that his wife was sleeping around, then he couldn't be certain because they didn't have genetic testing back in the day. Um, if his son was in fact his, his own blood, his um, true offspring. So to make sure that if your wife had children, that they were actually of the, the same genetics of the patriarch. You know, you had to have a tight rein and, and make sure that your wife wasn't sleeping around. And, and they were so concerned about this because they wanted to hang on to their wealth, their power, so that when they set up their will and the firstborn son was given the birthright, given the inheritance, and the, the same social status as the father, um, that that power system stays intact. 